This is Depot B140 practice. We have Mr. Hayden for the plaintiff examining and Mr. Eng for defense. So to identify, I am Mr. Hayden for the plaintiff. I am the witness. I am attorney for defense, Mr. Eng. Okay, so we'll start in 16s and then about halfway through we go to 15s. And Mr. Hayden is beginning with a question for the record. Did anyone else get to the scene of the accident other than those involved in the accident before you did? There was another car that had stopped sooner than I did. And I think they were there sooner. Yeah, because they had given, someone had given them a blanket or something. Do you know who that was? I don't know. Was that a couple? I don't recall. It was an older car. When you got there, did you talk to anybody involved in the accident? Well, when I walked up, they were still... Everyone was still in the middle of the freeway. I just motioned for them to get off and then they went to the side. I didn't really talk to anyone. Did you hear anyone make any statements about the accident? When the highway patrol man was filling out the report. What, what statements did you hear? I just heard his statement to the woman that if she was having car trouble, she should not park in the middle of the freeway, but to go to the right-hand side in the future. And what did she say? I don't know what. I don't think she said anything. I thought it was kind of humorous. He gritted his teeth. He used a lot of control, but I don't recall a comment from her. And I recall when he was questioning me that I mentioned there was a soda can and also I mentioned she was standing outside and she said she wasn't outside. She was inside when the cars hit and I just remember her being outside. Did you ever see that soda can? When they pushed the car away, it was under it. When the highway patrolman shoved it off the road, it was underneath it. Did you see if any of the women in the Camaro were injured? The lady that was sitting in the back seat, I was thinking to myself, she was probably injured, but she got out. And one had a small cut somewhere, but I don't remember where. Probably the one that landed on the ground, but I'm not sure. Were they all three up and walking around? Yes, they were. You didn't observe any other obvious signs of the injuries other than someone having a cut? Yeah, just a cut. Did you see the ambulance arrive? That's a good question. Yeah, it must have for the man in the truck. Did you see an ambulance arrive for the woman? I don't remember. Have you made any other, have you had your deposition taken before in this case? No, this is the first time. Have you given any statements to anyone else? No. Other than the officer investigating the case and today? No. Do you remember where you were going from Modesto to Turlock? Uh-huh. Have to answer audibly. Oh, yes. Okay. At what point had you gotten on 99 that day? I probably got on at Tuolumne. You mentioned that you noticed the Camaro when you first came over the hill. Uh-huh, yes. That's the hill on State Route 99. Yeah, sort of a low hill. Low hill? Yeah. About how far from the Camaro were you in terms of yards or car length when you first noticed? at the top of the hill. It's probably at least, I'd say at least a half mile, if not farther. At least a half mile? Yeah. So you noticed the Camaro when you were about a half mile away from it? Yeah. 
if I understand your testimony correctly, you were in the middle lane at that point? Behind her, yes. And there are three lanes? Yes. And you were keeping an eye on the car in front of you as well as the pickup behind you? Behind me, yes. After you went over this hill and you were watching the pickup behind you, how far was that pickup behind you? He was probably, he wasn't following me really close, so I'd say he was five to eight car lengths behind me, somewhere in there. Did he appear to be gaining on you before you changed lanes? No. You were tapping your brakes to warn him that you had seen something? Yes, I was. Could you tell if the driver of that pickup reacted in any way to your tapping of the brakes? I don't know. How many times did you tap them? Numerous, probably at least eight, nine, ten, somewhere in there. And other than that pickup behind you and you and the Camaro, you didn't notice any other traffic before you switched lanes except for a car in the fast lane? Yeah, there was a car in the fast lane, but I didn't notice any others. And I didn't notice that car until we almost passed simultaneously. Would it be fair to say when you changed lanes from the middle lane to the slow lane, the pickup was still five to eight car lengths behind you? Probably so, yes. And then how far from the Camaro were you when you changed lanes? That may have been asked before. I believe you said eight or nine car lengths away. Yeah, that sounds right. Do you recall passing under an overpass? Yeah, she was just beyond the overpass. Is that the Pine Street overpass? Okay, that gets you off in town, so that probably is Pine Street. And she was just beyond that? Yes. We're going to back up <clears throat> just a minute and begin the 150 segment again, uh, beginning with the question by Mr. Hayden. And other than that pickup behind you and you and the Camaro, you didn't notice any other traffic before you switched lanes except for a car in the fast lane? Yeah, there was a car in the fast lane, but I didn't notice any others and I didn't notice that car until we almost passed simultaneously. Would it be fair to say when you changed lanes from the middle lane to the slow lane, the pickup was still five to eight car lengths behind you? Probably so, yes. And then how far from the Camaro were you when you changed lanes? That may have been asked before. I believe you said eight or nine car lengths away? Yeah, that sounds right. Do you recall passing under an overpass? Yeah, she was just beyond the overpass. Is that the Pine Street overpass? Okay, that gets you off in town, so that probably is Pine Street. And she was just beyond that? Yes. Did that overpass obscure your view of the Camaro at any point as you came over the hill? No. You testified here today that you didn't notice any flashing lights or warning devices on the Camaro. Is that correct? Uh-huh. Do you recall speaking with the police officer that investigated the accident? Uh-huh. I know this occurred several years ago. Let me know if this refreshes your recollection of that. The police officer prepared a report uh -huh. and there's a statement that he attributes to you. And he says, witness number two, Cindy Brown, related that she was southbound on State Route 99 at approximately 55 miles per hour. Traffic began to slow and she saw a red car, vehicle one, stopped in the south number two lane with its four-way flashers activated. Then it continues with a statement that you saw a girl wearing white standing on the left side. Does that refresh your recollection that that Camaro did have four-way flashers activated? It must have had it on. You spoke to the police officer at the scene, did you not? At the scene? On the day of the accident. Yes, right after. 
would it be fair to say that your memory about the accident and what you observed was better that day than it is now? You bet. When you got into the slow lane, did you notice any cars in that lane behind you? Behind me once I got in it? Once you got in it. I honestly don't know. I was looking at the pickup. I understand there was another supposed witness to the accident, his deposition we have already taken, and he testified that he was in the slow lane and he was driving a 1985 Chevrolet Impala. I think he said 83. Maybe he wasn't sure about the year. Do you recall seeing a car fitting that description? Unless that's the car that stopped. The car that stopped, was there more than one person in it? I believe there was more than one. A man and a woman? Yeah, it was a man and a woman, but I don't know if there was anyone else. Once you moved into the slow lane, you told us you continued to watch the pickup. Did the pickup appear to you to take any evasive action at all before the accident? No. Didn't appear to slam on the brakes? I didn't notice him doing that. Didn't appear to move into the fast or slow lane? No, I thought maybe his view was blocked because he was really loaded. It looked like he was moving or something and had a camper full of boxes and everything and where the passenger sits in the front of the cab was loaded. Loaded with what? Belongings, boxes, and clothes. It looked like he was moving or transferring stuff. Was there anything obscuring his vision to his left, to your knowledge? Out of the driver's window? Out of the driver's window. I wouldn't think so. Did you notice any other traffic as you were looking back after you had moved into the center lane other than the pickup that you were watching? Not at all. Did you observe the person driving the pickup, actually observe the person as opposed to the pickup at any point before the accident happened? He was, I believe he was probably in his 40s, I guess, and heavier set is all that I remember. Let's go back to the beginning and, and read some more in 15s. This will be at 150 as well. Beginning with a question by Mr. Hayden. Did anyone else get to the scene of the accident other than those involved in the accident before you did? There was another car that had stopped sooner than I did. And I think they were there sooner, yeah, because they had given, someone had given them a blanket or something. Do you know who that was? I don't know. Was that a couple? I don't recall. It was an older car. When you got there, did you talk to anybody involved in the accident? Well, when I walked up, they were still, everyone was still in the middle of the freeway. I just motioned for them to get off, and then they went to the side. I didn't really talk to anyone. Did you hear anyone make any statements about the accident? When the highway patrol man was filling out the report. What statements did you hear? I just heard his statement to the woman that if she was having car trouble, she should not park in the middle of the freeway, but to go to the right-hand side in the future. And what did she say? I don't know what. I don't think she said anything. I thought it was kind of humorous. He gritted his teeth. He used a lot of control, but I don't recall a comment from her. And I recall when he was questioning me that I mentioned there was a soda can. And also I mentioned she was standing outside and she said she wasn't outside. She was inside when the cars hit. And I just remember her being outside. Did you ever see that soda can? When they pushed the car away, it was under it. When the highway patrol man shoved it off the road, it was underneath it. Did you see if any of the women in the Camaro were injured? The lady that was sitting in the back seat, I was thinking to myself, 
she was probably injured, but she got out. And one had a small cut somewhere, but I don't remember where. Probably the one that landed on the ground, but I'm not sure. Were they all three up and walking around? Yes, they were. You didn't observe any other obvious signs of injuries other than someone having a cut? Yeah, just a cut. Did you see the ambulance arrive? That's a good question. Yeah, it must have for the man in the truck. Did you see an ambulance arrive for the woman? I don't remember. Have you made any other... Have you had your deposition taken before in this case? No, this is the first time. Have you given any statements to anyone else no. other than the officer investigating the case and today? No. Do you remember where you were going from Modesto to Turlock? Uh-huh. Have to answer audibly. Oh, yes. Okay.